Hi everyone, I've decided that from now on I'll do game reviews. Why? Because why not? Also, I want to share my favorite games with the world so that you may enjoy them too. As you read from the title, today we're talking about For Honor, an arcadey medieval fighting game from Ubisoft. I'm starting with this game out of all the ones I want to review because there's an update coming the 9th of September, so I figured I'd try to get more people into this great game at the best time possible. Now, before we start, I'd like to share with you a couple info about how I review games. I take into consideration three major aspects, those being gameplay, lore and design, and divide them into smaller arguments as you can see on the screen. To each argument I give a vote from 0 to 10 and then I make a mathematical average for everything, resulting in the final vote. Alright, let's start this review of... For Honor is a fighting game, semi-realistic from the visual aspect and somewhat arcadey from the contrast aspect. It has a brief but enjoyable single player story mode and an arcade mode, but it's mainly multiplayer oriented. Every single update has been and is for the multiplayer content. There are 29 playable heroes and each one of them has a different moveset with chains and moves that combo into one another, leaving space for a somewhat different playstyle for every player. The controls are easy to learn, hard to master. When you fight you have to move your guard according to what attack you want to do or which enemy attack you're trying to block. You can guard break, dodge, light attack, heavy attack, feint and parry. There are some other options but these are the bases. The game offers excellent tutorials and even guides for every single hero's combos. Again, is to learn hard to master. The high complexity of the gameplay comes from the huge number of heroes and their different movesets, the various maps and different game modes and, of course, the multiplayer factor. Facing a Lawbringer is completely different from facing a Highlander or an Orochi, and so on. This, multiplied by the fact that every single player has his own style, makes the variables even higher, offering seemingly endless possibilities and making the replayability skyrocket. The fun in For Honor mostly comes from the feeling of completely destroying someone else, clutching a 1v4, or simply defeating that one guy that killed you 5 times in a row. But another important factor, besides the fashion part, we'll get to that, is the feeling of progress. When you start out with a new hero, you get your ass handed over to you by almost anyone. But as you play more, you start to learn combos. You learn how to punish an enemy's mistake so hard that they remember it even after the match while they'll be crying in their shower. And then, after some time, you get that sweet sweet number up there on the leaderboard saying you are the king of this lobby. Remember when I mentioned fashion about 10 seconds ago? Yeah. Besides the fact that most of the character drips harder than a supreme covered supermodel, the fashion has an important role in this game. Actually, more than one. The customizability is out of this world and different assets give you different bonuses in some game modes. But, in my opinion, those things are not as important as this one. Progress, reward. Let's say you start out with your basic gear, and for as cool as it is, it's pretty damn basic, anyone can see it. You join a match, and on the other team you see a guy with your same hero, but 15 levels higher. The dude looks amazing, he's covered in fancy shit, and has the hottest gear you could imagine. But then, after a while, you're the one that's so cool that Bruno Mars himself melts just by looking at you. And how do you feel? Damn good, because you deserve this gear. You got it by getting good, as a Dark Souls fan would say. Each time you get a new, higher level piece of gear, you feel rewarded. Every time your character looks fancier, 
because you got another level with him, you feel rewarded. And it's great. But how long does it take, you may ask? How much do I have to play this character to look great? Well, quite a bit. This game works with reputations. Basically, every time you get enough XP, your hero levels up. And after 20 levels, he gains one reputation and goes back to level 0. Basically, your number of reputations equals to how many times you got to level 20 with that hero. Depending on your skill and how many points you make every match, it takes about 2 to 3 hours for one reputation. They may sound like a lot, but learning each hero takes a while, so you won't really notice. For Honor has a nice lore, deep enough to be enjoyable by people that are interested, but not so much that you won't understand what you're playing if you don't care about it. If you want to know the lore, you have to play through the campaign, and play it with a lot of patience. As many of you know, Ubisoft likes to put collectibles in their games, for some reason. They like to hide them in the most bullshit places they can think and, for some reason, they decided to put interesting parts of the lore inside these collectibles. Scattered around the map, there are these little eyes called observables that, upon activation, will start an audio file of some narration. Don't get me wrong, the campaign itself tells you most of the lore, but these observables tell you the spicy things. So get ready for quite an amount of hours to find them. Or you could simply open YouTube and watch a walkthrough, since you'll have to open it anyways because the trailers for past events and updates contain a lot of lore and you can't see them from the game. Is it interesting? Yes. Is it deep? Kinda. There's not much I can say, really. It's Ubisoft. We can critique them as much as we want for so many reasons, I will not deny that. But something we cannot say about Ubisoft is that they lack skill in the design department. Their graphics have always been top tier, and their character design has always been unique. And it's not different in this case. For Honor is visually amazing, and every hero has his own unique character, distinct and enjoyable. The maps are out of this world, and as I already said, the fashion side of the game is top tier. Despite being a 2016 game, it's still way prettier than most up-to-date games. So, this is what I think about For Honor. It is a great game and you should definitely play it. But you have to make an effort to like it. Because you have to learn at least one hero to play this game. Because otherwise you'll just get stomped over and over. And that's not fun. Uh, is it worth it if you buy it just for the campaign? No, not at all. Just don't do that. If you want to buy this, do it for the multiplayer. So the end vote is a 7.5, which you might say it's not that high. Well, it's not that low either. 10 is a perfection. A 10 means there is no way of improvement. So. 7.5 is pretty damn high. And hey, if you do want to get this game, use my code. I will get probably some steel to buy some skins and execution and nothing more. And it costs you nothing. Also, also, if you want and you are on PC, hit me up and we could play together sometime. See you guys.